Hi, this is Margaret Bird and welcome to Color Quest. The last video that we worked on had to do with doing a pH shift on red cabbage dye. Red cabbage is very sensitive to the pH in liquid. So you can do some pretty crazy things by shifting the pH. Today's video, we are going to look at simply taking a cold red cabbage dye. Let's say you make a pot of it at some point and you would like to shift the color of some of the dye, not the whole thing, or you don't want to change the integrity of the red cabbage dye that you're making to begin with. So you can actually take the dye itself in a cold state and shift those colors. The other thing that this test can show you is that temperature does have an impact and you'll see that in one of the last textile samples that when we did the hot extraction i.e. making the shift with the cabbage itself in the dye pot the color was different than when we shifted it simply by using a cold dye and shifting it with the same material and one hint is to also watch through the whole video because at the end i'm also going to show you something that you need to be cautious of or consider when you're working with ph sensitive foods and plant material for dyes so let's go put our chemistry caps on and go see how the ph really does make a difference, at least on red cabbage dye.
So what did you think about that last test? The idea of showing you that is that if something is pH sensitive, it can go either direction. So if you're using red cabbage dye and shifting the color, you have to remember that it is still going to be pH sensitive. And if you come into contact with, for example, lemon juice, you are going to potentially shift that color. I've experienced it with my own artwork where I've taken a cabbage shifted textile and I've adhered it to a canvas with a glue that is more acidic and the color of the textile has changed. For me, I don't mind, I like that. But it's something to keep in mind and if you are dyeing textile that you are going to be wearing, you need to be aware of the fact that pH sensitive is pH sensitive and you should always utilize a pH neutral soap so that you can avoid the potential of shift if that's what you don't want. Or let's say the potential of shifting back if you don't want that to change. Just something to keep in mind. And beyond red cabbage, there are other dye matters that are sensitive to the pH of the liquid that you put in it. So always keep that in mind. If you see a shift that's unexpected, maybe you get a litmus test strip and check it out. It's always something to consider if you've seen something that's unexpected or you see a shift that you aren't sure why it happened, it could very well be because of the pH of your water. So next video, we are going to look at another modifier or another way to shift color and that is with iron. We're going to look at how do you make homemade iron water? And let me give you a hint, it's really easy. And I look forward to seeing you next time on Color Quest.